A former head of Israel's space security program claims there is an alien life in a galactic federation that has been in contact with the U.S. Pretty dope. What does that even mean, a galactic federation? There's just like an alien economy? Oh, yeah. Basically. Like, Told the newspaper that like, President like, Trump is aware of the aliens and on the verge of revealing their existence. Think about other federations, like the World Wrestling Federation. Like, it's just you, like a big company. You know what be wild? If, if Trump came out and Trump, and he was actually serious, like he had been in contact with aliens, like we can't even believe him, you know? Like he's just so out of his mind that this would just be a normal thing he would say on a daily basis. I believe in aliens. Oh, of course. You know what's going to suck though? Like one day we'll probably find aliens, but they're, we'll find life forms of other kinds, but they're not going to be like aliens. They're not going to look like aliens from Hollywood. They're going to be like these little, they're going to be like a little ball. that just like, get that bag on your head. Don't you tell they're going to be do. so disappointing. I'll rip this bag up right now. No, Go you home. won't. Like, no, you won't. Dedicated to the game. Bro. I kick you from E-Town, get down forever. I wouldn't. All right, so I want to just before we uh, before we start, we started like twenty minutes ago. No, we didn't start yet. I started. I want to. Um, I have a feeling this is gonna be the longest intro of the year. No, so I'm saying I want to make sure it's not too much of a long intro this time. Like I'm not. It's not gonna be a long. So you want it? To, you're adding. You know, you're adding to the intro by telling us not to make the intro longer. No, that's what I'm saying. It's not going to be like, like this wanna, is part of the intro. No, I don't want to overdo it. You know, I don't want to overkill. It's too much. Too much bag. You know. So you should have just won a game. Yeah, problem solved right there. You had, you had three months to make sure this problem didn't happen. Yeah, and oh, well, here you are. Which, how many wins is the second to last place in pers person going to have? Like five. Four or five? Yeah, five. <laughs> it's actually a pretty high number, I feel like, for last place. It is. All the way up to six places. Oh, he is? Yeah, that's, that's kind of crazy, actually. Animal. Looking good, buddy. Oh, we start now? Now we started? We've been started. Did we start? Bitch! All right, well, I don't have anything to say. I lost. Like, that's it. Like, yeah, you shut wanna... your mouth. Close your mouth hole. You want to go... Next one I want without a mouth hole. I want one eye covered, too. Yeah. You should have lost a hole for each week. Why you did know? you give yourself... And the last one would have been holeless. See, normally I wouldn't even have a mouth hole, but because of the podcast, the fact that I'm, I'm wearing it on the show for a little portion of it... I want you to be able to hear me and not like, you know, like a... What's cracking, big dogs? Welcome, bike, to that channel. Welcome, bike, to the Fade the Public podcast. I'm joined, myself, Nicholas, with Snacks, and Owen. Owen 13. Owen. Why'd you give yourself a Hitler mustache? It's not a Hitler mustache at all. Look nah, at it. The length of that is way too long. It's way, way longer than a Hitler stash. I don't know. Learn your, learn your history, bud. Learn your mustache. How do you now. figure out that? Hey, fuck, that's like three Hitler stashes combined together. Yeah. Hitler mustache is just under the, the septum. You don't even have a septum on there. I'm surprised you didn't draw a nose. Owen. Maybe next week. Owen. When I don't have a bag because we, we all know what's going to happen. One right? of your eyes is vertical and one's horizontal, too. Well, it's so I could see you and him at the same time. <laughs> I don't He's playing chess, man. Not I don't even think that's how that works. Owen, but. for the new uh, people watching this for the first time, why don't you explain why you're doing this show with a brown paper bag over your head. I mean, I think it's self-explanatory. It says 0-13 on it. Okay. Yeah, it could be a lot of things, though. Nah, it just means I've Why don't you just tell every me? single game this year. A lot of really close games, though. This week, I'm, I'm, you know, I played against Darren Waller, so pretty much anybody who played against Darren Waller probably lost this week, so I'm just like a lot of you. The best part about that is the fact that you had everybody going at 1 o'clock. Everybody. Yeah. And the only player you were going against was Darren Waller, yeah, who was and going he was off. like almost <laughs> single-handedly beating you. It was yeah. fucking incredible because you like really thought you were going to take the dub this week. I mean, my team started off pretty hot with like the weird little Vishka Chanel touchdown, mm -hmm. and then uh, you know, Jameson Crowder with his two touchdowns. I was looking good, and then <laughs> Darren Waller just put up forty points and matched basically. My you don't whole look team. good right now. You look fucking terrible. I don't feel good. I, mean. <laughs> I don't feel good either. Snacks, how you feel? I feel great. What? You're supposed to say you feel terrible. No, why would I? You said you didn't sleep last night. That's okay. I still feel great. A lot of good things in life. Like, actually, I'm sorry. Shouldn't have asked. All right, here's what we got. This is what we got on tap today. We're talking about, we're calling our shot. We're calling our fucking shots with our with league winners. There's three weeks left in the fantasy season. Weeks 14, weeks 15, and week 16. This is the playoffs. Playoffs start for most leagues week 14. Semifinals week 15. Championship week 16. Okay, and then we don't acknowledge fantasy football past week 16. Yeah, that's just... 
people don't do that. Do we're they? gonna we are going to apparently they do because I have to keep up with my shit for like Patreon and oh, whatnot. And so it fucking bad. sucks. I should fire you as client. Anyone who's got a week seventeen fantasy football shit, I should fire you as a client on Patreon. I don't want your fucking money. All right, you can, we're calling our shots. It. Fantasy football league winners for the last three weeks of the season. We're gonna go over our E-Town get down matchups, a little foreshadowing, and we are gonna take some Q and A. Uh, on our Instagram Fuck account. Man. So if you don't follow yeah. us on Instagram, make sure you're doing that at BDGE two underscores. That is the brand account for all accounts. TikTok, Instagram, Twitter at BDGE two underscores. Okay. If so, facto, snack so, how we doing? Really great. I love that menorah. Same. I was, I don't know it's, why, it's but awesome. I was just going to ask you what, what you thought about the menorah. I, don't I know. love it. So good. We just need to get candles. It's a nice, it's a nice menorah. It's good, right? Yeah. Why did I don't get are all menorah candles that thick? Like why are they so thick? Like I have regular birthday candles from when we put one in your cupcake and then you smoked it. Oh no, we we didn't. That we, wasn't a candle. That, that was right. a doobie. It was for my mom's birthday. It was a doobie. Mom smoking joints too? No, we use real candles. My mom's not a degenerate <laughs> like you. My mom would also wouldn't go own thirteen in a fantasy league. I honestly think your mother would easily sneak out she'd a get few like, wins. Yeah, she'd get like at least two or three. Yeah. You without can't even my get help. one. No. No, I can't get one. It's a tough scene. Listen, I wonder just... what the average auto drafted team win numbers was. It's like for all the teams that were auto drafted, you know, on Yahoo or something, like what their average wins were. In their well, league. They, I, they've had to have gotten at least one. Do you think auto drafted teams, like on average, are just average teams in the league? Like they end yeah, up with six yeah. wins? I think yeah. that's how it works. Yeah, because they're like consensus picks. So there's no bias involved or anything. No. I'd say they're probably good. Let's just kind of, I'm going to do my recap. You don't here. think they do? You don't think they go, uh, they don't, they do the, the running backs from hell in rounds? Five through ten. Even they know not to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Even auto draft the teams. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I lost. Uh, you know, it's not, <laughs> it's, it's not over yet. Martin Cooper's going to finish me off tonight. But yeah, I mean, my whole team played it's at one not, It's not over yet. Aren't you you're, already down like 20? He's down 46. You're down 46 as a and player. You, even, you don't have any play. Shut your mouth. <laughs> it's, it's not over, over so like, yet. Just quick recap what went wrong here. Um, you think Amari Cooper fumbles the ball 25 well, times? Well, here's what's going to happen. I posted on my Twitter. I asked people. I said, you want to help me set my lineup? And everybody was telling me I got to start Mitch Trubisky. got to start Mitch Trubisky. So I took Mitch Trubisky and I put him in my lineup for Derek Carr, who screwed me last week, put up 0. .6 points. So like I had reason to not start him. To be honest, to be honest with you, Jets, it was ridiculous for me to take him out. I said, oh, oh, but the Jets. And then like people said, nah, Trubisky. So I, if I listened to you guys, and you fucked me. You had three players combined to score you about two points. Well, Hayden Hurst, Brashad Perriman, and Tennessee defense. Combined two point one points, all three of them together. The fact that you had to go to Twitter to ask people you to played say against the you played against Jay, if I told you pre week that Clyde Edwards Slayer was going to get Jason a zero and his defense was going to get him a negative three, you would have loved your chances. Yeah, yeah, but if you also told me that Darren Waller was going to have thirty eight and a half points, that averages it out. Like you still should have won. No, he's yeah. going to put up one hundred and like fifty five points this week. It's big for you. Play, learn how to play defense. So, like, yeah, I had no well, chance. All right, let's look at the positives. All right, so that's it. My uh, You got some production out of your tight end, which you normally don't. So that's that's a positive. At one point. Better than the zero he put right, you up exactly. last week. Right, exactly. Oh, no, he got 6.8 last week. Oh, did he? Yeah. Mm. I had Logan Thomas on my bench for 20. Bad management. Yeah, like, learn how to play the game. I'm starting. Maybe you maybe you pick up fantasy baseball. Get ready. We, we stop could use a little football. diversification on stop, the channel. Stop with the fantasy football. It's just not working. It's not your thing. All right, Animal? Move on. Yeah, let's go to you guys. <laughs> Love that. Uh, I played against Joe, whose team was terrible. Scored 88 points. I don't really need to explain anything. Um, didn't have a huge week. Not really. Uh, my quarterbacks were probably my best players, Tannehill and Cam. Lockett kind of got hurt, so he didn't do much. Miles Sanders is getting hurt by his coach, so he literally did nothing. Terry McLaurin, I'm not worried about Terry. I think that was just like Pittsburgh gets to Alex Smith within five seconds and they got to throw everything to J.D. McKissick. We, Devin Booker was a, a sexy play, but he didn't do Devin great. Booker, the basketball Devante. player, huh? Devante, uh, yeah. Why not, you know, maybe you should do the fantasy basketball. Cunt. What did I say? Devin you said, Booker. You said baseball first. Now I said you're Devin Booker. Devin what is Booker. It? You're all Yeah, Devontae you're Booker. All idiots. Um, yeah, normally I, I probably, well, I mean, Josh Jacobs, I'm assuming, will be back soon. So I'll probably play Debo over Booker going mm -hmm. forward. But that does give me I'm, – I'm short at running back. If I get one running back injury, I'm kind of fucked. But I don't really care. It doesn't so matter. I know it it, it, it it there wasn't like a real injury there, but Tyler Lockett concerns at all? None. No? no. I mean, you say this every time I ask you a question. <laughs> no. 
No, I'm good. Confident, no not worried. You're That's asking me players that I'm not concerned about. If you asked me about like Miles Sanders, I'd be like, yeah. Well, we already him. know that. That's like a given. Miles yeah, Sanders what a shame. They, fucking... they just... You ask me if I'm concerned about right. Tyler Lockett, and my How's answer this? is no. I'm not How's doing this? this to like fucking spite you. How's this for Cunt? a question, Everybody sir? Everybody has a vendetta <laughs> against him. No, I'm just saying. I'm just, just trying to get How's some, what, some answers. How's this, motherfucker? Jalen Hurts has what been named the Philadelphia Eagles starter. Ask about this. Do, do you think? think this will have a boost on Miles Sanders' game? This is what I said in the video that I put out today was I'm, wi- I'm wildly concerned about Miles. Our only hope as owners of Miles is that Jalen Hurts injects some energy into the offense, which I don't even know if that helps Miles because it's a committee right now. They're playing Boston Scott. They're giving Jordan Howard the ball. They it's can't, funny how the Eagles they can't, have a running back by committee. They can't. Well, they didn't until he got fucking hurt earlier on. They they, always, for like eight games, he was good. They always did. No. I, I don't would, like Miles Sanders in Dynasty. I just don't like him. How? Why? Give us one reason. I'm not going to waste an early round pick on a guy that's not the guy. He's not the guy. They, they fuck. Fuck. I'm not old, even I'm not even entertaining your own. I was always a running back by committee with Doug Peterson. Sorry, bud. It wasn't for the first half of the season. There is nothing. 80% of the snaps. There is nothing that just can happen in Philly that injects snaps any don't bit of life. That's them. what I mean. It's like the offensive line. They, snaps and he was bit. getting like 25 touches a game, sir. He just wasn't playing well because the offensive line didn't do shit. Go sit on it, animal. Go fucking go right up your own 14 bag already. Go home and get your fucking shine box. Go right up your own 17 bags. This shit's going to continue into next season. We're not on my matchup The bags are going to continue into next year, okay? I hope so. I hope they're fucking 0-15, 0-16, 0-17. What about in the contract, though? If he doesn't win a game, he can't even be in the league next year. I don't think that's really in the contract, is it? Is it? It's in the contract. I don't think it is. It's gonna, we're gonna have to talk to. Buddy, we don't want. We don't want. Good be, luck. Good we don't luck. Be embarrassed. No, no, no. Good luck having this league without me next year. Talking about fucking this league on a podcast. Without we wouldn't me. have to. We wouldn't have to talk about loser. It's sad, man. We want to talk. He, he's ten and two in first no place. One wants to, we don't even talk about him. No one wants to hear like someone brag. Like, oh, I'm in first place. No one cares. I care. No one gives a shit. I care. I'm over my matchup. Yeah, go on. I pull, it doesn't fucking matter. All yeah. right, Snacks, tell us about your... your, your I won't. Your, cared for like four You're weeks. working on a Cinderella story here, though, so yeah. give us the details. You got a good comeback story right you're now. You're like the yep. New York Giants right now. Just keep staying in it, baby. Tell us your, Getting I'm a gonna, lot of breaks, so I want... Uh, you needed a flawless two-week period right Correct. There. And right now, it's it's what I'm getting. So I beat I beat Larry. Oh, yeah, Jesus fucking Christ, Larry. By 30 points, put up a 164 spot. No one really went off. It was just a lot of consistent double-digit players. <laughs> you like that? Oh, I got a fucking grass stain already. I think you haven't worn these fucking. Well, There's no grass in the city. Yeah, I was just say serious question. How would you have a grass stain? I get crazy here. You see? <laughs> you see? Did the you tur- fuck the Grinch? You see the turf downstairs? I wish. You see that shit down there? Yeah, that's not real grass. It could be if you try hard enough. Anything could be real. All right, so next, continue with your. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I won. I won. And that's all you need to know. What else did you need to happen? Oh, I needed Stevie, uh, what Stevie I, One Chain to lose. What are we fucking lose. six years old here? I got to I needed Stevie you, One Chain to lose. Show you how to poop? I don't know. Wipe this is, ass? Zeke and, and Dobbins might get 41 points combined. Well, is that right what they now, need? He's 41? got a 10% chance win according to the odds um, and the projections based by uh, Yahoo Fantasy. Zeke Elliott has been very, very shitty lately. Yep. So there's a good oh, chance he scores good news, five guys. points. It was just a uh, dust. Uh, I was in a grass stain. I was gonna say I don't know how you would. Have oh, a grass by the stain. way, like, by the way, fall, by the way, remember? I need I you next week too. For what? Uh, you need to be Larry. Oh, I'm, I'm tossing that game for sure. If I'm two games up on Eric for first place, I'm tossing it. No Dep- integrity. Depending on how you. No integrity. Depending on how you perform for the brand over the next seven days. You don't want Russell seven in the days. Russell Wilson in the playoffs. I was gonna say I get to choose who I want to play in fourth place. Yeah, you it's don't true. want him. Woo! It's you shouldn't have said nothing. Why? Because now, I'm not a child. I feel like you would have eventually realized. Yeah. No, I wouldn't have. I, dude, I don't like. Like, I've had nothing to play for for. A, yeah, like you've a had month. a boring stretch. It's fucking stunks. No, you should want me in because that'll be fun. That match will be. I a do. Lot of fun. I do want you in bed. Yeah. I'd rather you be the two or three seed though, unfortunately, so we don't have to play first round. I know. I'd rather. Oh, well, too, sometimes you just you know things, beggars can't be choosers, right? These animal? things happen. I'm aware. What seed would you like? If you got into the playoffs, dude, love ninth right now. I would just not even the playoffs. I just want ninth. <laughs> you just want the ninth seed. Just want ninth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so would we you all do stink. a would you do a week in prison for ninth place? No, right? Would I do a week in prison? It's like a week in prison or a night in the woods. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, you, you wouldn't do it, like just for integrity. Like that what, was like a good salesman place? pitch, though. Like you almost made me think about it. I was like, oh, maybe I would. There do was that. silence, but for then a when second. you do the actual equation of it, his, like, his the, the excitement in your voice when you said, "I just want ninth place." I love ninth right now. I would just not even the play. I just want ninth. I yeah, ninth place, not a week in prison. 
Sure. You should have asked me what I do a week in prison to oh, become. No, actually, no. It's still the same thing. I'll just start whispering shit in here all the time so you guys can't hear it. But they can hear it. Just keep going, dude. It's not a. You don't hear it. Right <laughs> <now>. uh, <laughs> so that's it for the, the recap, then, I guess. Huh? We're on to week 14. This is it. This is the oh, final stop. week. Is week it? 14. Here this we go. It. Here we go. The roller coaster ride. It's coming to an end. Wait, wait, wait. Roller coaster? What roller coaster? It's, it's been a it's roller been coaster. It's been a been a roller time. coaster over here. Let's start with my man. It's more like a car ride. You were never up. It's a car wreck. Yeah. Let's go with my man, Nicky Snacks, over here. He's got a huge mashup against the Mr. Stevie One Chain. Now, obviously, there's some things pending here, but most okay, likely... We might have to have him on the chain. Wait, are you guys playing for fourth place? Next week. Do, if, assuming if, I beat Larry? Yes. Oh, we might need to get him on then. Yeah, next or week. Or we'll live stream if, if it comes be, down to Monday, if Tuesday night. If you beat night. Larry, it's... Yes, me and right. the winner of me and Steve is, is so. If place. Larry beats me, is he in? He's in. Larry's winning in because him and Steve could both have eight wins. Well, he's but Steve has no points. Week. Steve has this no. Is points. So hard to figure. Steve's out. gonna lose this week. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. It's so, so annoying that Tuesday night football and Wednesday night football happen, so he can't register the fucking wins and losses. It's yeah, sucks. on a Tuesday. On it's a motherfucking annoying. Tuesday. It makes it very unfortunate for us, too, who have to... People can't do math, yeah. Well, sucks. math is a terrible thing. Well, but we got lucky We got lucky this week because all the matchups are pretty much over. Like, this one... Well, for the most... Yeah, like, mine over. was decided... We could do, we could discuss it in with 2:30, the theory that... You know. yeah. All right, yeah. So, basically, you and Steve are going to play for the fourth seed next week. Yeah, it's exciting. Assuming I beat Larry. Assuming you beat Larry, yes. Oh, boy. Part of the flaw is two weeks. It's going to be a good one. Yeah, it should be fun. Um, I can already tell I'm going to get my ass kicked. Really, I feel like you have a lot of favorable matchups. With well, Devontae Wilson, Adams is going to put up thirty. You got, but you have Russ Wilson. Uh, this is great for the brand. You have Russ Wilson Whoever playing wins the plays Jets. Me, and then we got that matchup first round. Let's go on a on a on a. You would think you, you would, I would. That's it. He's pissed off. Yeah, he's going to kill the Jets. Let's yeah. see who Nick, Russ. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. Russ. And then you got. I mean, the rest of your team is kind of shaky. I like Jonathan Taylor against Vegas. And I like I like Taysom Wayne. Hill, I, like I guess, Gallman. just because Wayne he always Gallman's got the a beast, man. Dude, Wayne Gallman's been so good. Wayne Gallman's been great. It's been funny. I think for three years now, I've joked about him in the off season, like before he, the he's season gonna started. Get, he's going to get a little fucking. A he's going to get a payday. He's going to a little conch. Yeah, off season. Yeah, good for him. Wayne train, baby. So here's what Stevie One Chains needs to do. He needs to play Gronk over Ebron. No, disagree. Yeah, for you, I would if I were you too. Uh, he, he Michael needs... Pittman as his wide receiver too. Very questionable. Do you put Evans in over like Harris? I think mostly? you'll probably have Evans in. I gotta tell you, I'd much rather play him than you. I know. Oh, Evans, I didn't realize he was on his bench yet. Yeah, Ev- bye Ev- week. Evans will go nuts in that wide receiver two spot. I think like Evans got the fucking eye of the Jew, like beer fest, you know? Like Brady's <laughs> Brady's just looking at him. He's a straight up red zone guy too now. Yeah. Like, he's just looking you no, know, every time he needs a play, he's like, I'm going to you, yeah. you know? He like just tells him and Evans just gets open and I'm, makes a I'm, play. I'll tell you what, he's I a, traded for Evans in one he could be a league. in our dynasty league, and I'm fucking very happy about it. That he could be a league winner. That's it. He was on my fucking list. Is he? I was going to put him, yeah. Yeah. All right, so Snacks and Stevie One Chain. Stay uh, tuned for that next week. That's going to be a big matchup. Who do you, who do you play last week, Joe? I played Joe who... Listen, here's why... His, his team put up 88 points against me this week. Yeah, but that means he's due. Uh, yeah. yeah. Which is the problem Big because time. he's got Justin Herbert versus Atlanta. So he's probably... Justin Herbert's going to go nuts next week. I just know it. Especially after getting shut down this week. Didn't have a touchdown. He doesn't no. have enough... Does he have a quarterback to play? Because he has Carson Wentz. He doesn't have a second quarterback. He, he does. He has... No, he doesn't. have. Well, he'll pick someone up this week. He doesn't. There's a couple of guys. There's yeah. like Alex Smith is out Jaylen there. Jalen Hurts is on our free agent wire. He's on our waiver so wire. So he'll probably pick him up. Yeah. So he he'll has have, money. Whoever he's going to do everything he can not to be the Yeah, exactly. The one. He Listen, but here's the thing. Here's why I like this matchup. Joe is a perennial <laughs> loser in the E-Town Get Down <laughs> That's League. That's a good point. Uh, so he's a champion. He is a champion. Yes. He, he's a champion. But, and here's what, I'm, here's what I'm going with this. He's a two-time champion, he I is. believe, yeah. right? But it's going to be like the Nate Robinson thing. Nate Robinson never champion, but... Nate Robinson had his accolades, and now well, no one will ever remember Nate Robinson other than being knocked out by Jake Paul. And that's what I'm going to do to Joe. That's not true. I remember a lot. No one's going to remember that Joe's a two-time E-Town Get Down champion. They're only going to remember that he was yeah. the one for the 1-13 season. That's all they're going to remember about Joe. I if he wasn't at work champion. right now, I'd call him up, talk shit. Talk shit right to your face, Joe. Call him. He'll probably answer. I don't think I have. Do I have Joe's number? I do. That's a Keep sign going. of respect. My phone's over there. Oh, wow. George. What is George hoarding four defenses for when he's in seventh place? What's he this is what I'm talking about Strategy, when I say like man. the waiver wires. Strategy. Well, you would never be able to have four defenses. It's three, but I exaggerated. Still. Still. It's, it's a mad. I will still. always remember that Joe's a champion, by the way. Always. No, you're going to think of this first. No, I'm not. I don't if really care. If he fucking loses to you, I'm going to be so mad. If you go one and 13, it's gonna be what point. a waste All of a year. All this is pointless. Yeah. I don't have his number. 
All this was pointless. Well, here. Full body suit too next week. If you All right, will. let's actually look at the matchup though. Other than talking shit, so like I, I do have a serious issue here because. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, my team's bad. Obviously, that's an issue. But here's the the real issue is the fact that I have a lot of Jets players, but like they're in good matchup here. Like Jameson Crowder has got his connection back with Sam Darnold, so he's a must start. Is that true? Do I start Perriman too? Start them both. Seattle's actually been a little bit better against the pass recently. Yeah, but then do I start Darnold also and just stack, stack, stack? You all right? So wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, actually, this is perfect. The O and thirteen Jets and the O and thirteen Animal. And you're gonna play three of their guys. That's, you guys that's probably destiny. both. Oh no! You either both tank together or both win. That together. is destiny. The Jets are never gonna win. They're tank. They're no. literally throwing Last games. Sunday was their shot. That was it. And don't uh, get excited about Trevor Lawrence, Jets fans. Ronald Jones, big week. You like, don't have a single good matchup. I feel like on your bench either. I haven't had a good matchup all year. <laughs> <laughs> so you need that optimizer. Listen, Yahoo did say at the beginning of the season I had the hardest schedule. Oh my god! Of course, because yeah. you started off with me. And oh, then, Joe's going to have DeAndre Swift back if he's fucking James Connor really back. I hope he comes James back Connor and gets bike. two snaps and fucking doesn't play. And then... That would be nice. That w- I, You know what? I would love for DeAndre Swift to come back and just shit on your chest. Wait, wait, I Finish not, your season. not what I said. I said... Any particular reason said. why DeAndre Swift? I Because he's, all, he was been anti-DeAndre Swift since the mm, summer. Listen, I'm anti-Lions running back since Barry Sanders fucking retired. Prematurely, too, he retired. Why do you think he retired? Because he was Prematur- on Detroit. Yeah, and that's why I stay away from... And DeAndre Swift... Took that personally. Name me a, a Lions running back that's been a good Reggie fantasy. Bush, phenomenal fantasy. Mm, no, like reliable. That's a good point. For like, like 1,500 years. 1,500 yards. For years. Okay, not the, like you're, one you're year. asking a lot now. No, Nick, I'm not asking Nick. for a running back that played Amir for a team Abdullah. for like three years. What? Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, Amir the God. He Amir Abdullah is like the fumble God. He's a uh, beast. How about Adrian Mikhail, Peterson? Mikel the Shore. Dude, did beast. you say multiple games or multiple years? <laughs> multiple years. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, Garrett Blunt. Garrett Blunt. Oh, something always happens. Job at best. Always Job happens. Best. Would have been a beast, and then his like, head was going to explode. Theo Riddick. Like, what are we talking about here? How is what are you talking stuck? about here? You're just naming mediocre Lions running backs from the past mediocre? five years. Mediocre? They made it to the NFL. They must be good. Ty Johnson breaking out with the Jets now. Ty Johnson. Basically a Lions product. <laughs> it's interesting how Adam Gase brought out the best in him. Yeah. Sometimes you just need great that. Coach. Great coach is coach. All right. Uh, great we, great coach is coach great. We've gone off topic I'm enough a here. Coach. I'm a great fan. Back coach. to my matchup. DJ coach. Moore, coach. what's the, coach. What's the sitch with him? Uh, so I'm, I believe he actually tested positive for COVID. So he's out. I'm, I, I'm not 100% on that, but I'm 100% that he's 100% positive for COVID. Well, I hope he's okay. I don't think he is going to – I think he'll be fine. Um, but I'm pretty sure Curtis Samuel is a close contact oh. to him. Oh, fuck. That sucks. I would love to play him. I want to oh, say DJ actually. Moore is going to be out this Sunday. This upcoming Sunday. Should I play Curtis Samuel? If, if he's, he plays? If he plays, yeah, I definitely would. Do I play him? That just over? means C-Mac is going to get 200 touches, which means I'm going to fucking beat Snap week one. Of Who do I play him over? Marvin Jones is a beast with Ridley not there. Oh, playing Green Bay, though, right? Yeah, that's true. Right, so you play Larry. We don't care about any yeah, of that, right? No, whoa, whoa, no. That's huge. I don't care. I mean, but it's, it's irrelevant not, I, I at this I, point I, to no talk cares. about. I don't think you're going to win. I think it's time... That we move on. I just don't. And talk about some so. league winners. I have this bad feeling. I hope you're right. I have this How, bad feeling. What what do you what do you think? Why don't you talk right, well, about some league in the, winners? In that case we could just go down my lineup. Uh-huh. I don't know about that. I think Travis Kelsey could be a league winner. I mean, so he's, he's already basically won leagues. Save like, do you want to get like the generic ones out of the way? Yeah, now? we'll get the generic ones out of the way because you have guys like Derrick Henry who has a ridiculous three off. weeks. You have uh, Aaron Jones who gets Detroit, Carolina, Tennessee. Obviously, gonna go fucking yam on it. We want to go uh, some guys that are not literally like the five best players in fantasy football. <laughs> some guys that we think maybe not under the radar, but could be the. Um, what's the word I'm looking for here? What's the word I'm looking for here? Cherry guys? on top of your Sunday. No, but that is numerous words. We could roll with that. But like that's what you're going for. Kinda, yeah. I was like the unsung hero who leads you to the. Like the. Oh God. Who were him last year? What? what would you say? Like, what do we call him last year? League winners. No, dumb fuck. <laughs> Which players? Oh, like I Devontae had Devontae Parker. Parker. Yeah, he was big. He's one of mine. Uh, I had another one that hit too because I was just really I don't good. Remember. You had, the, you had the least amount of points in E-Town last year, too. That's unbelievable. It's not true. Oh, second least, sorry. You did make the playoffs, though. Yeah. You just do. <laughs> and then usually losing it. All right. Fuck you guys. <laughs> I'm going to roll with this. This is Tannehill and Corey Davis season. Mm, stacking so People start getting down on Tannehill, and I was like, the matchup's been terrible. He's going to break the fuck out once they start rolling down again. Plays Cleveland. Yahtzee. Boom. Ryan Tannehill. Corey Davis goes for a 180 piece. And we were talking, you know, we talked about it a little bit pre-show. 
Where's Corey Davis land? I think mm. this is an opportunity cost or a sunk opportunity cost where the Titans just say, fuck, we fucked up. Now we resign him to a three year, 45 mil. Yeah, how much is he going to command? Three or 45. I, I don't I know. I would look similar to the Devontae Parker offer. What did mm. Parker get? I think he got three years, uh, like 52 mil or something like that. Something I just like made that, that up. I, th- I feel like made so it up, but that sounds right. Oh, I'm, right? Ve- I'm very curious, actually. Yeah, check that. Check on Spoil Track. I think that they should just resign him. He's already a good fit there. He knows the system, and they have their key pieces in place. They got Tan Hill. They got Derrick Henry. AJ Brown's on his, his rookie contract. He's so got Corey Davis for three years, and they've got the four or five pieces that matter on offense, and they're ready to fucking roll. Four year, forty mil. Four for forty right. for Parker. Twenty one, twenty one and a half guarantee. That was, okay, that was pretty off. Um, so here's why I like them. I mean, they play Jacksonville, <laughs> then they play Detroit, and then they play Green Bay. So two horrific defenses followed by a good pass defense in Green Bay. But Corey Davis ain't getting Jair Alexander in week 16. That's going to be A.J. Brown. So you sniff out mm. A.J. Brown from the passing offense. The shit funnels. The shit funnels. They don't have anyone else to pass the ball to. Jonah Smith has been hurt or is fucking absolutely, yeah, what st- absolutely stunk. I, it's fucking Ferkser season he now, runs. Baby. He runs like legit like 16 <laughs> Ferkser season. <laughs> Jonah Smith runs like 15 routes a game. It's insane. He doesn't run any routes. Derek Henry doesn't catch passes. Jonah Smith fucking stinks. Everyone on that team stinks besides J.J. Brown and Corey Davis. I just think like over the next... <laughs> Derek Henry fucking stinks too. Occasionally, you look at his. Look what he get you this week: five, seven, or five, six. What, five. what are you, you going really to me? This what week? are you going to do next year if you have like the the fifth pick and you can't take Kamara, you can't take Henry because now you have a, a vendetta against him? Right? Actually, the better well, question would I is not take Derek Henry. The, I would take Derek Henry because he has been. The better question is you're at the fifth pick and you have Derek Henry or Alvin Kamara both available. Derek Ooh. Henry. Derek Henry. You're going to do that again. Yeah. It you, depends. It depends on. No, no, you have to make the decision now. You well, it depends make, on the Saints quarterback situation. No, make the decision kinda, now. Derrick Henry. You have to hold fair. it to that. Okay. kind of fair. You guys heard that here. Next year, when he's Let's facing Derrick Henry versus Kamara on the draft board. Derrick Henry! He scored 16 this week. He did fine. You better hope Drew Brees is back. Doesn't need it. No, because I like Taysom Hill playing quarterback. He's been good for me. Oh, yeah. League <laughs> winner? It's like, a, it's like a, all I need is just a receiving pet. Like, just throw it to him. League winner, Taysom Hill? No. Yeah. I think he's going to be constant. So I'm going to go with Ryan Tannehill. I'm going to go Corey Davis. I love the mashup of those two. All right, real quick. I'm not really picking him, but what do you got? We haven't really seen enough, but Jalen Hurts is a really easy schedule. So the Saints is going to be tough this week, but after well, that, yeah, he's got two. Saints, what, yes. Arizona, Dallas? Uh, Dallas, Arizona? Nah. Is that made up? Yes. I'm not doing it. No Jalen Hurts? I mean, unless you like I think he'll be a borderline QB1. I don't think like league one. Unless you absolutely need like a quarterback two. Then maybe, but yeah, like, like if you're in a super flex, ah, yeah, he, I mean, he, like, I'd be really, I feel really good about putting him in super flex for sure. Well, I think he'll eclipse 20 points in both of those final two games. Yeah, uh, he had like 30 rushing yards in fucking 20 minutes last game. He'll he'll be putting up like eight extra points through that, I think per game. I mean, it's pretty exciting. I'm I'm like obviously I hate Philly. I hope they lose. Scumbag city. I hope it burns to the ground. But I mean, should be pretty, Arizona Dallas 15 16. Yeah, that's what I said, right? So. I'm just confirming it. I'm in fucking playoff. Commission is in playoff mode. I know everything. Do you? I, so, I know literally everything. Do you have an ask actual, me a question? Fantasy like, or real life related? I'll answer it. Who's right. my first league winner? Mm, who is it? No, that's stupid. I told you who it was. I know who it is, but I don't want to ruin it for the people. I don't remember. Ask me another question. I don't have one. How was your weekend? That's not, not like a fantasy a, related not an question. Qu- that's idiot. what I said. Ask me any question, not fantasy or fantasy related. Wait, not fantasy or fantasy related. Idiot. Either one. Don't think too hard. Get yourself one of these. <laughs> He'll never. He Animal would never. Are you going to ask or not? No, I want to do the segment. I want to talk You're about up. the league winners. Say, say somebody. Ask me a question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go with ask me. David Montgomery as the league winner. <laughs> That's why he's on 13. And here's why. He's been uh, very consistent lately with these past two weeks. Last two weeks, we've had... Over 20 fantasy points in both of those games. He's had over four targets in the last two uh, games. Actually, this week he had. Uh, I don't have it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What were you doing preparing down there? Yeah, for, we, for fucking we, were, we were sitting up here for like a half an hour and he's down there. <laughs> I'm preparing. Making noises and shit. Yeah. Like, what are you doing down there? Oh, research. Research. <laughs> he comes on here and doesn't even have it. Won't even ask me a question. I was Coward. eating a burrito. Peasant. Um, I was eating a burrito. Where's my phone? Shout out to Scott Simpson, by the way, for his... Uh, Go, that his, Chipotle tweet? His Chipotle. Yeah. Incredible. I, that was such. That was so entertaining. The fact that Uber Eats acknowledged that and entertained that on Twitter. Incredible. Like, so... <laughs> incredible. He, he actually had... 
It was four targets. We should play a game. Four targets, four catches this, this week, and the week before that, six targets. Mm. So maybe, five catches. And this is what both these weeks with Mitch Trubisky. You Mitch see my Trubisky tweet about is back Zuma today or yesterday? No. He's running the most routes per game by far of any running back. Since wow. That's Tariq also Cohen, very since good Tariq news. Collins went down. He just runs so many fucking routes. Brad it's Evans great news, and that's really cool. So, Dave Montgomery, possible league winner here. I think if you. Uh, Oh, also his schedule. Week 14, you got Houston, who's terrible against the run. Week 15, Minnesota. Been all right. Not the best, not the worst. Week 16, Jacksonville. They suck. I feel so. good about DeMont. My, I'm wondering if like we're all getting into a really big recency bias because I heard this stat today. So he had two rushing touchdowns on Sunday he over did. the previous 18 games he played in combined. What, he had he, two rushing two. touchdowns? Two. Yeah. Like, that's He's wild. He's got three rushing touchdowns this year. Yeah, he's got two overs last eight. I don't games think he's prior, also prior he's got like two receiving touchdowns. He's getting a lot of usage. Yeah, he's, he's getting, getting the receiving. Work, it was a hand pick stat that makes him sound I don't think way I could worse ever, than he is. I don't but. think I could ever get behind. I think it's just something that we finally wanted to see him get like the work he had. The this is like the carries. floor we kind of expected him to have forever. He just never actually had. He had seventeen yeah. carries this week, so like that's something that you want to see him get. He needs hundred percent thirteen for forty one on the ground, zero touchdowns this week. Write it down. Write it down. Send it to your mother. He's gonna have over eighteen points against Houston. 17, over 17.6 whoa, 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 whoa. points. 17.6 points. I want I want a, an animal guarantee. This is an A-Rob game. Guarantee nothing. No Bradley Roby. This is all A-Rob. I would almost say Darnell Mooney should be in your Ooh. Lineup. Moon dog. Your boy. Is that your favorite player in the NFL, Darnell? No, nah, but I might start him this week. Yo, why don't nah, you guys tell, tell me this thing snuck up on me and almost choked I mean, me out? Yeah, we, we're like, trying to get you. I feel you. Like you should feel it. It's your neck. I'm trying to kill you. Sick. I'm going with Brandon Ayuk. Yeah, right, protect your neck. All right, anything Ayuk else? Ayuk looked good last night. Hey, dude, he looks so good. No, just watching him last night. He's a bi- and he's been a beast. Like, look at his last three games that he's played. Not, you know, when he had the COVID. Nine targets, 14 targets, 10 targets. Finds the end zone the last three games he's played. He's got Dallas and Arizona. Washington, Washington's secondary is trash. Yeah. So, favorable matchup. Washington has like, a, do we have anything on Kittle? Is Kittle coming back anytime? No, no they said. No, he's done. I thought Washington's secondary, secondary was pretty good. No, their secondary. Their run defense is great. Their secondary it's was good iffy. in the beginning of the year, but yeah, that's not, not the strength of their yeah. defense. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, I know I still like the pick. I think the fact that Debo Samuel's back too opens yeah. him up even a little bit more. Yeah. So on that on the on just, the Washington front, good, man. on the Washington front, on the flip side, big fan. Of, I, I, I'm a huge fan of Terry still. I know this was like the the and this is another recency bias thing. People are gonna be like, "Oh, did you see what happened to Pittsburgh last night?" Pittsburgh was in Alex Smith it was living inside of his fucking pants. Like, yeah. there's no there was no other way for him to execute anything in that game besides the dump offs to JD McKissick. They play San Fran, Seattle, Carolina. San Fran's obviously tough, but like they can be beat through the air. But then Seattle, Carolina, weeks 15 and week 16. Yeah. Besides yesterday, Terry McLaurin is like seven for 90 every single game. I mean, outside of. Like it's it's literally just him and Logan Thomas telling people that can catch a ball, so. which is exactly. which is so. which is huge. If they're playing against a team that cannot get real pressure on Alex Smith, like Terry's gonna see eleven. No, Terry's a beast, and I'm not just saying it because he is on the Giants, but like he he's like the only receiver that gave Bradbury fits this year. So yeah, like he's a legitimate route runner. Like he's great separation, really good. all that shit. Yeah, really good. Big fan of Terry. I like Terry. He's scary. anyone who has Terry on their team anytime that get down league wins the championship. Ah, listen. Skirt. Listen. All right, I got another one. You ready for it? Let's go, you're gonna baby. Hate it. No, you're going to hate it because you hate everything no, that I, uh, That's I, put out, I put on out there. So we got <laughs> Melvin Gordon. Hate it. Hate it. Do you hate it? Listen, he's quietly been having a hate good it. season. Hate, hate it. it. Averaging hate 11 it. points a game, but... But that is a quiet 11 points a game. It's a quiet 11 <laughs> points. He, and now, you know, I think it took a little while, but he's the clear favorite in that backfield. There's kind of been a, a committee with, you know, with Lindsay. And now I think that, you know, the past couple weeks, Melvin Gordon's kind of broken out and said, like, you know, I'm the lead dog in this backfield. I'm the top bitch here. Also, oh, yeah. So double digit points almost every week outside the Broncos weeks where they had the quarterback issues. We had backup quarterbacks and we had no quarterback. So Literally. now that Drew Locke is back, I'm not saying Drew Locke is. You know, good. It's just saying it definitely helps Melvin Gordon's game elevate. And, you know, we got week 14, you got Carolina. Week 15, you got Buffalo, who's like the worst rush defense. And then week 16, you got the revenge game against the Chargers. It's so a good, It's a good schedule. I almost look at Melvin Gordon and David Montgomery as very similar at yeah. this point. They have guys like who like all year. They can be involved in the passing game, but aren't as much as you want them to be. They'll get 15 carries a game. A lot of the time it's inefficient, but like you kind of hope they get into the end zone. I would say Melvin Gordon has a better shot at scoring, but like, they, for sure, they look. I look at both of them as like floor plays. I feel like for league winners, you need guys who are gonna like fucking explode. You, you know? got a chance to just pop. These we'll are say. the weeks where they do it now. I mean, you're the, you're the Denver guy. You've been watching the games. You're you're not worried about Lindsey having a hot hand ride or anything. 
No. Lindsay, if Lindsay's going to have a good game, it's going to be off of one carry. Yeah. Like, he'll get his eight carries, but he's going to have one for, like, 50. This is his third year? Oh, yes. Lindsay? Does he have a fourth? Do, do all rookies get fourth year on their contract? He's undrafted. Yeah. Oh, first, yeah. first rounders have five years, right? Yeah. First rounders have the well. The, they have the, they have the team. This option. is his. Yeah. He's a free agent after this year, I believe. So this is his after fourth this year. year because he's an undrafted free agent. That'll oh. be interesting. Oh. I think they're only three years. Mm. I don't know how it works. I, don't I, th- I, think, that, I think that's team. correct. Right? Sounds right. I think that is right. I like yeah. Philip Lindsay. He's like a. Like I cute, wonder who he signs. Yeah, cute with. little yeah. guy. He'll go ruin someone's backfield somewhere. Bring him to New York. Go to the Jets, probably. I want the Giants trade Barkley and sign Wayne Goldman. That'd be something. I would love to see what kind of haul they would get for Barkley. I would say a second round pick. That'd be so disappointing. He's coming off an ACL injury. Nobody's no, trading I, first for him. Not that I don't back. think it'd be possible. I, I feel like I think a second round pick could be a steal, honestly. Yeah, I don't like know. Like you could see what everybody's like. Oh, you know, look at the offensive line now. It's so good. Imagine what State comes up. Whatever. Like I don't. It's just a waste of a draft pick. Jonathan Taylor. He's gonna explode the next two weeks. Las Vegas and Houston. Bad run defenses. He finally looked good yesterday or two days ago. That against, was nice against to see. Houston. Yeah. So, it was the best he's looked in a while. Yeah, probably. All it years. was it was just refreshing to see. And before you know, he missed uh, last week with the COVID. But Green Bay, he got twenty two attempts. So they're clearly prioritizing it, Mr. Jonathan Taylor. So I think he uh, he does well for you. Yeah, Fourteen but, to fifteen. But but does he win you your league? Because part of winning your league is winning your week sixteen matches. And it's a tough one at Pittsburgh. At Pittsburgh. I don't know. I think yeah. You know, it's are, is, is Pittsburgh resting people though? Mm. In week 16. You never know. They're already like... Cleveland's right up their fucking ass, though. Maybe well, that's not. it could depend. Cleveland's yeah. fucking good, huh? Yeah. yeah. Holy shit. Cleveland's wrestling. What other AFC team? I mean, oh, well, the other big thing is don't only... No, the, one, the Chiefs. No, they, got, they got to win. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they got to so, win. Yeah, I, I doubt the Steelers are going to be wrestling their players. Yeah. I mean, like, like India's a good offensive line. Maybe they can neutralize it a little bit. Just fall into the end zone or something. So that would be nice. But weeks 14 and 15 for, for JT should be very juicy. Okay. I got one. I got a tight end. This is my last, like, you know, Don't featured say. guy here. Don't say it. He's going to say Travis Kelsey. I'm not going to say Travis Kelsey. I'm going to say with Mr. Robert Tunyon, current that. tight end for, and I, I don't know if this is a fact, but he looks like he's Rogers' second favorite red zone target, maybe. Sounds like a fact. Seems me. like it, right? If you he's believe got it, it's true. Three touchdowns in the last three games. Right he's got on one touchdown team. a game. He has. My foot to sleep. Love that. Keep going. I'm listening. Animal. Finish without me. He has week 14. He's got Detroit where he scored a touchdown in week two against the Lions. And that was week two where, the, you know, the chemistry wasn't really there yet with Rodgers. Now you can clearly see that they um, – can you shut up? What the fuck did you do? Is your foot asleep or did you Week 15, your Carolina. They don't have a linebacker because oh, Keekley retired. Uh, week 16, Tennessee, their pass defense is terrible. He's got some nice matchups. He's got some great him. matchups. He's got a great quarterback. Devontae Adams is going to score his touchdowns, but I think Tunyon – is probably good for one game. Probably good for one game. I think he's going to have three and, big weeks here. And this is why I say a league winner here is because this is the tight end position, and there's it's very scarce. It's a very scarce what position. What Animal's saying is if you have Tunyon guaranteed, you just sit everybody else. You only start Tunyon. You're yeah. going to win your league. Detroit, Carolina, Tennessee, all bottom 12 fantasy points allowed to the tight end position. You love to see it. That's exciting. Snacks, who That's else you like? Ah, That's it. There's two passing offenses I just want to touch on real quick. It was... The Rams, and it was Tampa Bay. So the Rams, their next three games are New England, the Jets, Seattle. So the obvious ones are the Jets and Seattle. New England can be tough. Obviously, Gilmore is Gilmore's back, right? He's playing. Gilmore, I mean, that's where it gets dicey. Like, who the fuck is even the slot receiver there? Is Robert Woods outside the whole time? Whoever mm-hmm. Gilmore's on, the other one should probably have a big slate of three games there. So Cooper Cup. Josh could Reynolds. Be, no. Cooper Cup could be uh, a stud over the last three weeks of this season. Tampa Bay, though, is the other Big one winner. I really like. Minnesota, Atlanta, Detroit. Mm, like, I really juicy. think. I think Mike Evans might fucking bop off for a, a 20 piece in, in all three of those games. Like, him and Brady have something going right now that is. Uh, that's scary for opposing defenses on the on the uh, on the quarterback situation there like I think Brady might go fucking bonkers over these last three weeks too you think it's time I think it's time you know coming off the bye I would like to get a stat on like what Brady's offenses look coming off of a bye week I feel like you know it's taken a while for them to kind of get their shit together but I feel like it's here everyone's finally fully healthy they're starting to click a little bit it's Rojo season right animal yo so I know you um before the show you told me not to say this but I can't help myself. I have to do it. <laughs> so, some week 16 guys. <laughs> some week 16 guys that you need to know about here. <laughs> oh, this is. I thought you were just going to talk about Ronald Jones. You're going to fucking waste our time with this shit. 
What do you mean waste your time? These are guys that are going to help you win your championship week because week 16 you know how valuable my time is, is championship week. We got Jarvis Landry playing, you guessed it, the New York Jets. He's been on a roll. He's had over, you know, he's got 24 points against Jacksonville and he had 16 points against the uh, Tennessee Titans this week. He was at 11 targets and 10 targets. That's 21 They're going to be up by games. 28 at half and not throw the ball. Bad pick. But why do you think that they're going to be up by Nick those Chubb points? Nick Chubb is going to score four touchdowns. They lost uh, the, you, you one see, of their You say that every week, though, the and then lineman. Nick Chubb just scores one touchdown and has, like, a good game. That's it. So, no. Also, week 16, guy you need to know about. He's got a point. I, mean, I didn't even hear what he said. Didn't hear what he said either, but I'm <laughs> sure he's got a good one. It's the fact that every he says, it's, it's, you know, it's a, it's a Nick Chubb week every week, but it's, it's not really a Nick Chubb week. Here's what I like. Here's what I like. Ready? Ronald Jones, week 16, going to Detroit. Run defense is terrible. Listen, that, that the team, they, they were rejuvenated this week because of the, the firing of Matt Patricia. That's in the past now. That's over. Week 16, Rojo season is, is finally Sounds arrived. Sounds more like the Andre Swift season. Ah, mm. uh, no. Bruce Arians knows that he needs to feed Rojo now. He realizes it. He finally realizes it, I think. He knew that. Until his dementia kicks in again week 15, <laughs> and he just doesn't decide to Till his dementia. give Rojo. He gives Rojo 14 carries. And Animal just wanted to let you know which RB2s you should like put into your flex for week Hold 16. Hold on, I got one more. I got one more. Are you ready for this one? You got a vending machine back? in this place? A what? Vending machine? Yeah. The laundry room downstairs. I'm going to go get a snack later. Yeah, I've spent many a nights in that, in that laundry room mm. just fishing out the vending machines. I think I emptied them out of Reese's list. Got, All right. Got big lays. We got Damian Harris, week 16, league winner know. at, not at, against Buffalo. Buffalo's run defense is terrible. This is a division game, so both teams are going to come in hot. They're going to want to play. Damian Harris versus Buffalo, week 16, going to help you win your motherfucking championship. Oh. Damian Harris, I feel like, does the same thing every week. He just goes 15 for 100. And a touchdown. No. No. Against the Bills. What did he do last time against the Bills? 16 for 102 and 1. Well, good day. day. Fucking best game of the year. All almost. right. You heard yeah, it here. He's quietly had a nice little year, huh? He has. He's he, been he, really it's, good. It's finally until he like, got when Sony Michelle was finally like not playing, even though he never played. I'd feel uh, I'd, I'd feel pretty fucking good if I owned him in Dynasty. I think he'll probably very likely be the starter there. Is James White still on a lifetime contract? Like, yeah, it's, absolutely. It's fucking absurd. He's got the theoretic treatment. In New yeah. I'm, I got to look that up right now because James White needs to get out of my fucking face. Yeah, he's shot. I mean, he was never good. He just catches. No. Him. Yes, he's a free agent after this year. He's definitely. The they're f- definitely resigning. Fuck out of here. How long is Brady's contract? Was it a year or two years? You think Brady comes back in Tampa? Yeah, <clears throat> it was two years. Damn, you just fart. Probably a. Yeah, yeah it's got to be some kind of. It's just two years straight up, twenty five mil each year. Okay, Q and A. Instagram for some Q and A. Make sure you're following us at B D G E underscore underscore. Let's start with the people that already follow us. Six new messages. Sorry, guys. Anything that's just like too. Too much for animals' brain right now. We can't handle. No, we're not gonna oh, look, do that he's one. We'll do it quickly. Who should I start? Kiki QT or Juju? Full PPR. How does Animal feel about being on the same level as the New York Jets? Wow, that's a good question. I mean, I'm not, just I be like I'm a multi-billion-dollar franchise. I wouldn't consider that the same level because they do it every year. I've only done it once. They don't go zero and. Animal, will you ever be able to eat a donut <laughs> again? <laughs> I think it's just like you have so many donuts oh, in your lineup. Oh. <laughs> Why do you keep calling them animals? His name's Owen. <clears throat> yeah, I'll eat donuts. I eat fucking coffee roll today. What would you do if Animal got a date with Zendaya? Oh, that's too far. <laughs> if you did that, and then you sent pictures of me on the, if you sent pictures of you on the date, I'd come to the place. I'd actually probably call the place and like be like, I have a bomb. In <laughs> bomb, there. There's, bomb, a bomb, bomb there. there's a bomb in the bathroom. Yeah. An animal put it there. Uh, would you rather be with Animal after getting a win or snacks after the Giants win the Super Bowl? Oh God. Uh, I, well, there's not. I would never want to be with Snacks yeah. if they win the Super Bowl. Dude, I wouldn't want to be with him after a regular season. Yeah, <laughs> like I don't want to. Yeah, like nothing Giants related makes me want to be with Snacks. So I would good question. hang out with Animal. Is Animal considering changing his name to 2017 Cleveland Browns? I don't really know what that means, but they probably they were over. over. For, yeah, I, I mean, like I know what it means, but uh, uh, no, they're all like the same question worded differently. That's fun. They're all oh, yeah. like some kind of variation of. That's why I was saying What's worse, animals team? Make or it so that the questions you should have said, like, ask anything but animal. There's literally questions. every single one of them. They would have still asked it. People want to know, man. This is historic. There's nothing else. This is it. This is your life. We're going to show. Oh, um, this is your life. <coughs> I'm not I sure. I guess that is a little thick for a hitter. <coughs> yeah. From the not angle, it didn't look good. sure exactly the details on this, but I believe we plan on streaming on Sunday. 
my game. My, like I believe I plan on coming here on Sunday to watch the games and stream because if I do win, we have to capture this moment. See if uh, one change is free too. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get Stevie. Would one animal you should accept, come too? Yeah. Would animal <laughs> accept the fate of going Owen every year for the next ten years of guaranteed one Broncos trip to the Super Bowl? Trip, not a, not a guarantee win. No, no, you, we don't need that. We go all the time. It's not a big deal. You went. What do you mean you go all the time? Been to a lot of Super Bowls. Animal, what was your most crushing defeat this year? I really wow. shouldn't have put that last part in the question. And <laughs> I didn't realize people were gonna take that so seriously. Yeah. What, what was the most crushing defeat this year? It had to have been the. the it had to have been the point. Um, eight. That's whatever. that Monday night game a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. That was brutal. The one that was all over Twitter that started basically this whole run. Oh no! The, yeah, the Rojo yeah. game. The Rojo game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he needed like Epic. fucking him and Josh Reynolds. Yeah. Well, that was unbelievable. I needed eight points between two players, and I didn't get it. And Rojo was the starting. You needed seven yards. Well, to end it, yeah. But, With but, ten minutes left. But in the, the game. fact that it was what makes it so crushing is that it never should have gotten to that point where it was like. Oh shit! Like there's like five minutes left. You need seven yards. Like, yeah, no, why the should. fuck do I still need seven yards? It should not have gotten to that point. Yeah, that should have been over so long ago. And you like, like listen, you can say like, oh, you're bad at fantasy football. Like that's an absurd thing to happen. It's yeah. pretty wild. No man. way you were going to that saying like, oh, he lost. I did. You didn't think Rogers was gonna get eight points? No. Fuck you guys. As soon as Idiots. Fournette got that one carry, so no, I saw that once Fournette got the touchdown, it was over. That should have been Rojo's touchdown. No, you should have started DJ Moore that week. Probably, yeah. What are you going to do? <laughs> the cut looks good, Animal. It does, Thanks, right? It looks I got. slick on the front, yeah. You're going to do a mullet? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I don't think I will. I think I'll stay just like this. I had to get a cut before we go into full quarantine mode, and I can't get a haircut again for three months, and then you just start When's that coming, by the like way? I don't believe that that's going to happen. I think it might. What? But if it doesn't, again? Like I don't want to have to deal with him. You know, let me cut you up, G. What do we do? <laughs> we're, we're, I'm, Dude, let me line you up. Yeah. No, I'm serious. I'm, this lockdown might happen again. Shit. I don't think it's going to be as serious, though. Like, <sighs> I think they're going to be like, we're locking everything down, but like, not really. Just be safe. Like, don't be stupid. Well, that wouldn't be a lockdown. Exactly. That's why I don't think it's we're going to. It's kind of like actually, what we're at right now. We're not going to get. Yeah. That's what we've so been like for the last six months. going to change. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I think they'll, well, they'll close down like indoor dining. Which like no one really uses right now. Not we don't use like personally right now. Anyways, I feel so bad for these restaurant owners. Me now. too. I feel it's, terrible. Oh, it's well, bad. Their businesses are done. It's bad. They mm-hmm. you can't compete with it. It's, it's, like what are you gonna just deliver? Yeah, That's why you become a fantasy football. Let's say, as, say this isn't our. Uh, it's not our field. It's my field. I mean, it's the country. I field. run a restaurant. We should all have uh, thoughts and and whatnot about the topic. No, nah, I just want to talk about football. Well, that's why you're fired. Why would you want to talk about football? The Broncos suck. Your fantasy team sucks. Because when you love something, snacks, you just you don't care. You just you want oh, to do it every day. Repeat that. Repeat that. When when you love something, you don't care. Exactly. Put that on my what tombstone. That, also. What does that mean, though? What? Why don't, are you saying exactly? Don't come at me when I come at you after a Giants win. It's too stupid. Don't, don't come at me. fucking idiots. Passion. I don't. You come at everyone else. I don't come at you at all. You come at us. Steve's been my new go-to guy. I'm going after For Steve. What? Oh, it's like attacking him? Berating him, yeah. Like, like you guys don't really deserve it. Steve does, because he always... I don't think anyone deserves it. He wastes it. his time fighting with you about it. <clears throat> he also said the Jets were going to be better than the Giants. Like, he can't not have the last word. But, like, here's what I, I get. Like, well, you take that so seriously. Like, you've said that how many years to other people. Like, you literally made a bet with me. We shook hands on it in front of people where we said who would have a better record at the end of the year. Jets, I mean, the, the Broncos... Or the Giants. This was like two years ago. The Broncos I don't remember it. won like three or four more games than the Giants. <laughs> we bet $50 on it. You never paid me. Wait, you bet 50 Yeah. Oh, then I'll pay you that. Well, then the next year we bet 500 you didn't <laughs> I pay didn't knew there was a bigger one. Yeah, the next year was 500 And you made the bet. Same bet. Jets. Uh, I mean, Giants versus Broncos. Who's going to have a better record? Broncos had a better record. You didn't pay up on the bet. Well, good thing we made And I bet. didn't berate met- you saying, like, oh, you said the Giants were going to have a better record. You're such an idiot. That's what you do. When someone makes it, you're an insane person. I am definitely insane. Well, stop it. I can't. What do you want me to do? To stop it. How am I going to stop? Stop. Therapy? How, how long? Are we that hasn't worked. Stop. I'm, I'm over this. Uh-huh. We're only at 25 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we need some more RB2s. Right, like 16. Like 16. At least 48 minutes. Take 15. a guess exactly how much we're at. 56 and a half minutes. 49 it was right. minutes, it. 28 seconds. <laughs> no. You're actually both right in the middle of it. Fuck. 53 and a half minutes. 53 minutes, 42 seconds. It's 52 minutes, 48 seconds right oh, now. All right. Bang. 
That's uh, all loser. we got for you today. We didn't get a poem from Animal or Snacks. Check the uh, description for a link to buy the uh, Owen 13 bag. Just so you guys know. We should have plugged that earlier. Yeah, we should have. Scott, Scott could do, always work. Scott, do magic. a plug or something. Scott, work your fucking movie magic. Scott, make it, take a video of yourself and put it as the promo. Yo! Oh. With a bag on your head. Creating a great video is easy. But here's the thing. Listen, the, the last two bags have gone to one person. Yes. You can, are you going to let him monopolize you? Are you going to play spoiler and maybe buy this can bag? Can we get the first then, name? Can you be the animal? Sell it to him? Can you be the animal of bag buying? This it's is this guy going undefeated. It's just all about if you want to hustle or not. You want to hustle, you buy this bag, you sell it to the guy who's got the first two for a premium. Make a buck. You Make a buck. Here's what's going to happen, too. You're gonna flip Animal's going to go flip 114. It. We're going to do a full 30 for 30 production. That's right. On the I've season. already been thinking of how I want it done. It's going to be incredible. It's going to be is. incredible. And those bags, the value. First of all, it's going to be the one in 13 season. A Michael Jordan and it's going to be ten. like, the title will be like the season that almost There's was. no documentary. No, so there's no documentary if you win a game. If I win a game, yeah, no, it'll be like the season that almost was. It will be no. an epic story of the first 13 weeks and how week 14 this fucking guy pulled it out. It's not happening. That's what it's going to be about. It'll be an epic documentary. You're going to make that? 30 for 30. But we'll be like, a, we'll do something different. No, like, this is my vehicle. Like a 15 for Make sure 15. I tell my editors not to fucking work a second on that. 15 for 15. So or for you two. 13 for, or one for 13. One to oh, thir- one a, to a BDG 13. production, one for 13. One, one for to 13. 13, like one to 30 13 30 for 30, one for 13. One for 30. That might be your record over the next two years, to be honest. Are we done? Are we we have a con- do, what are you going to do next year if you suck again? Positive regression. <laughs> done. All the Java Guatemala in the world can't save Max's season. It seems as though the stress of this fantasy season has taken its toll on a once vibrant and hopeful animal. If only the glasses could make his record invisible to the rest of the league.